Um, all right, so today we have lots of things. We're gonna read Llama Llama, mess, mess, mess. I know, I bet none of you guys ever make a mess, right? Uh, we have another book called Feeling Sad. Wonder what we can do about those feelings. And some good songs, so let's get started. Pat, clap, pat, clap. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together at Teacher Loretta's group time where your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Here we are together at Teacher Loretta's group time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <sighs> All right, that song made me out of breath today for some reason. All right, you guys, get out your teeny tiny spiders. We're gonna start off with the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the water spout. The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, nice job, my friends. All right, Doggy is here today. <laughs> It's good to see you. Are you enjoying the sunshine? Ruff, ruff, ruff. I know we are too. I'm gonna go out later. Ruff, 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 ruff. All right. On three, you guys can help me sing. One, two, three. Doggy, doggy, doggy has a letter for you. Let's open his mouth and we'll see what's inside. Doggy, doggy, doggy has a letter for you. P says P, P says P. Every letter makes a sound that P says P. All right, let's see. What starts with P? We have Penelope. We have a little sister in our class whose name is Penelope. Do we have anybody else that starts with a P? Hmm. I don't think so, but what do you have in here, doggy? All right, you guys, what do we have here? A little miniature paint set. Paint, p -p -p paint. Oink, 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 oink. There's a pig, pig, p -p pig. All right, and this is something you write with, a pen. All right, this is something that we're not allowed to have at our school, a peanut, a peanut, p -p -p peanut. All right, let's see. All right. And what do we have here? This is from a long time ago in the fall. A pumpkin. A pumpkin. All right. A p -p -p pumpkin. And here we have an uppercase P and a lowercase P. They're very similar. 
The uppercase P has the straight line and then a half circle. And same with the lowercase P, right? This one just goes down on the bottom. So uppercase P and lowercase P. I'm gonna show you how to write those. So the uppercase is always the tall one. So we have the uppercase here, and then we're gonna do a half circle. So there's the, your uppercase P. And the lower one is gonna start down here. I guess normally this would go down a little bit lower. And there's your lowercase p. P, p, p. They look almost the same, don't they? All right, my friends. Llama Llama, Mess, Mess, Mess by Anna Dudney. I love Llama Llama Llama. Look at this illustration. Someone left an apple core on the shelf. Can you see it right there? That's what my kids do. They leave their eaten or half eaten apple cores wherever they're snacking. Oh, and I see some chips up here on the top. So somebody was having a little bit of a snack, it looks like, while they were playing. All right. Llama Llama in his room Cars and trucks go honk and zoom, racing under sheets and chairs. Mama Llama calls upstairs. Time to pick up your toys. Why is Mama making all that noise? Mama says it's cleaning day. Llama only wants to play. Uh-oh. Mama says to make the bed. Llama Llama shakes his head. We all have a job to do, even little llamas too. That's right. It's so helpful when we can all pitch in together. What if Mama never cleaned? Imagine that. What would that mean? If Mama didn't dust or mop, She'd toss the rags and off she'd hop. She'd take the clothes all clean to wear and throw them up into the air. No doing laundry anymore. Just drop the towels upon the floor. She'd pull the sheets right off the bed and wear the blankets on her head. That actually kind of sounds like fun to me. Uh-oh, she'd leave the pots and plant pans and plates and dance around on roller skates. Again, that kind of sounds fun to me. Then zoom into the living room to make a fort with mops and brooms. Look at that, doesn't that look like fun? I'd say so. She'd have herself some crunchy snacks and throw the bags behind her back. Hmm. Wonder if she's kind of doing what little llama's been doing, huh? Crumbs and clothes and peanut shells. Oh, did you catch that? With the P, 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 peanut shells. What's this thing? What's that smell? Pew, food has been sitting out. Messy counters, dirty drawers. Oh, that would not be fun anymore, would it? Where is mama? Where's the floor? Oh my goodness, there's so many things on the floor you can't even find a spot to sit down. Everything's in disarray. Llama has no place to play. Disarray means that everything's just messed up. Clutter, chaos, and distress. Distress is, means something's troubling. No more llama, mess, mess, mess. Oh, I think mama got the message through. Grown up llamas clean, that's true but little ones can pick up too. Llama Llama nods his head. Maybe we should clean instead. 
Llama Llama picks up blocks, puts them all into his box. Nice job, Llama. Nice job, little Llama. Books go back upon the shelf. Llama puts them there himself. Are there things beneath the bed? Check and see, lift up the spread. A bedspread is something, a blanket or a comforter that you put on your bed. Look what Llama Llama's got. Each thing has a special spot. Llama pulls the sheets up tight. Mama tucks the quilt just right. Lots of space to play with Mama. Guess who's proud of Llama Llama? Look at that. Don't they both look proud? Mama's proud of Llama Llama and Llama looks pretty proud too because he was a big helper. And I know from your parents that you guys have been really big helpers. You were, have even been doing some of the things in this book like cleaning your dishes off the table and helping with laundry, I heard. So some of my threads here, my comments aren't coming through anymore, so sorry about that. Oh, Carly says they're doing a dinosaur puzzle. Oh, good reception today. We got a new router, by the way. So hopefully that's helping. So let's see. Um, I think when I scroll with this in the very beginning when I'm greeting you guys, it um, messes up the automatic feed so I can't see what everybody's doing. Okay. Oh, Zachariah says we've got a bag of play sand, but they miss going to the beach. Mm, I agree. Oh yeah, it's never messy at Megan's house. My house either. Ha ha. Um, Julia's pretending to be Jasmine today. Wow, Julia. Marcus is over. Oh, Marcus with the angry faces. That's funny. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, Megan said it's getting blurry again. Darn. P for Ponzi and Paul and Pax. That's right. Good job, Ava. Oh, hi. Hi, Marshall. Welcome. And P for Pecan. How did I miss Pecan? That's right, you guys. You guys are super smart. And Rory's here. Hi, Rory. And it, oh, let's see. Sharon says Jacob's been helping with cooking. Yay, I love that. My kids take turns cooking. So um, we've had some fun things. Kate cleaned her room today without being asked and it was messy. Good job. Oh good, I'm glad the picture's clear. I've gone back and looked at some of the um, feeds and they've been pretty not clear. What's the word? Blurry, I guess is the word. I don't know. Um, all right, you guys, get your family, your hand family, put them behind your back. We're gonna do Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run and play, run and play. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run and play, run and play. Where is tall man? Where is tall man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run and play, run and play. Where is ring man? Where is ring man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run and play, run and play. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run and play, run and play. 
Where's the whole family? Where's the whole family? Here we are. Here we are. How are you today, sirs? Very well, we thank you. Give a hug. Give a hug. Give a hug and a kiss. Hugs, kisses. We love each other, right? Um, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Jacob, Sharon says that she was just singing this last night. Hopefully I got it right, Sharon. Um, okay, our next book. It's a book about feeling sad. Have you guys ever felt sad? Is there anything that's made you feel sad? Look, even the puppy feels sad. Oh, it's a bunny. It's a bunny with a little fluffy tail. Oh, it is a bunny. Sometimes Eliza isn't able to do something she really wants to, and Eliza feels sad. Here she says, I wish I could go trick-or-treating too. And the mom says, you're too sick to go trick-or-treating. Hmm, poor Eliza, that would make me sad too. Sometimes Eliza likes, oh wait. Sometimes something Eliza likes very much is lost or ruined. Have you ever had that happen? You've lost a favorite toy or maybe a sibling, an older brother or sister or younger brother and sister might have accidentally broke something. Yeah, I'm with you, Paul. I wish my doll wasn't broken. Look, her little leg fell off. Mm, that make me sad too. Sometimes Eliza has to leave a place she really likes. Eliza feels sad. This looks like a very fun play classroom, just like Teacher Loretta's, right? Sometimes we don't want to leave because it's so much fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, my finger family did not social distance. No, you don't have to social distance with your family, remember? Um, sometimes family members or friends leave Liza. Eliza feels sad. So I should say they're not really leaving her. It looks like maybe her brother or maybe a babysitter is here taking care of her. And it looks like her grown-ups, I see the mom's wearing a purse. And it looks like maybe they're going out. Maybe they're going to the grocery store. Maybe they're going to dinner. When her grandmother, hmm. When her grandmother died, Eliza felt sad. When her goldfish died, Eliza felt sad. Oh, look, and the bunny's sad here, too. I know, sometimes it's sad. I had a guinea pig that died, and my dog Jackson died, and I was really sad. I cried for a long time. I had him for 16 years. He was a good dog. When you are sad, you feel very unhappy, but you don't have to feel sad forever. There are things you can do to make yourself feel better. She says here, I feel sad. Do you see how sad her face looks? And her bunny sad, empathizing with her, kind of feeling the way she's feeling. I wonder what some of the things we can do to help ourselves feel better. Let's find out. When you cannot do something you wanna do, find something else to do. Then concentrate on what are you doing instead. This is almost as fun as trick or treating. Although I have to say, if you're sick, she probably shouldn't be trick-or-treating either, am I right? But hey, different folks have different rules. When something you like is lost or ruined, be thankful for the other things you have. Then enjoy those instead. Look at all the little toys that she's playing with. See her broken doll is back here? But look, she has so many different toys she can play with. And she says, at least these toys aren't broken. Can play with them. When you have to leave a place you really like, talk with others about that place until you feel bad. Then find good things about the place you're in and enjoy those things. Preschool is fun, but being home with you is fun too. Looks like they're making something and I see this little bag says chocolate bits. Do you think they're making chocolate chip cookies together? That would sure make me feel better. When people you love leave you, find out where they're going 
and how you can reach them when they're gone. Oh, that's nice. Then keep yourself busy. She says, I miss mommy and daddy, but it's fun having you babysit. So it turns out this is probably the babysitter maybe. Oh yeah, look, they're making a special memory book. She says, it makes me feel better to remember all the good times I had with grandma. And he says, this scrapbook will help you remember those good times. Oh, that's so nice. Try not to hide your sadness. Don't pretend you aren't sad. I used to play this with grandma, it's making me sad. But I don't wanna cry because Tommy will think I'm not very fun. It's okay to be sad. Talk to someone when you feel sad. Talk as often or as long as you think you need to to make yourself feel better. I know how you feel, Eliza. I felt sad too. Yeah. Try to think happy thoughts and try to do things that make you feel happy. So here, they're playing together and they're having fun together. And she says, I'm gonna call Tommy to see if he'll play with me. So she's also being kind. Remember that everyone feels sad sometimes. Feeling sad is okay. Just be sure to do the things that will make you feel better when you feel sad. Some other things that you can do, you can ask for a hug. You can say, I'm feeling really sad right now. I wanna be alone or I'm feeling really sad right now. Can I have a hug? Cause that'll make me feel better. Or maybe you notice that somebody else is sad in preschool. What do we do friends? If we see someone sad, we go over and ask them if you can help them or we say, hey, can I give you a hug? Sometimes they say yes and sometimes they say no and that's okay, either way is fine. It's kind that you offered and that's what really counts. All right, I have one more last song. Um, I think we've done this one in class before and it is five little sausages frying in a pan. So here, get out your hot pan and your five little sausages, we're gonna fry them up in a pan. Five little sausages frying in a pan. The pan got hot and the pan went bam. Four little sausages frying in a pan. The pan got hot and the pan went bam. Three little sausages frying in a pan. The pan got hot and the pan went bam. Now we have two. Two little sausages frying in a pan. The pan got hot and the pan went bam. One little sausage frying in a pan. The pan got hot and the pan went bam. Now we have no sausages because teacher Loretta ate them all. We love sausages in our family. Um, all right, so yesterday we made the flowers. So we watercolored, oh, I lost my stem. We watercolored uh, coffee filters. I used two of them. Um, of course, now I can't get this untwisted. And then um, we just twisted a pipe cleaner around the bottom. So hopefully you guys had a chance to make your grownups a bouquet to cheer them up if they're feeling sad. All right, today we, I guess I don't have a sample of it, but we are going to make um, cork flowers. Does anybody happen to have any corks laying around? I know I have a lot these days. If not, you can use a thumbprint. And what you're gonna do, I don't really have a sample of it because we didn't make one ahead of time, but I'll make one for tomorrow. Um, so what we're gonna do get my drawer of Sharpies. Look at this. Wouldn't you just love to have a plethora of Sharpies like this? It's like my dream. I love co colored Sharpies, although these are dry erase ones. Okay, so what we're gonna do, first we're gonna start off with some stems. So you can draw curly stems or straight stems, short stems or long stems. You can draw leaves if you want, one or two. 
or none. You can draw grass on the bottom if you want some grass. All right, and then for the flowers, we have to pretend, so let's use our imagination. If we're gonna use our thumbprint, you could dip it in an ink pad or paint, and then what you're gonna do, or the cork, the same thing, whichever one you're gonna do. Um, we're going to do circle prints. So I'm gonna draw a little, circle. We're just going to pretend it's the cork. So whatever you want to do. You can do different colors. You can do one, two, three, four, five. I guess you could just do markers like teacher Loretta's doing too. So I'm mostly doing five. One, two, you guys can count with me. Three, four, five, and then maybe you want to do a different color in the middle. Let's see if I have another color. Let's be super creative. I have fuchsia. I was really looking for yellow because yellow is my favorite color. But then you can do a sixth one in the middle if you want. So there we go, we're gonna do a little garden, a flower garden out of prints. If they do their thumbprints, then you can save their cute little thumbprints. All right, Megan, what did you put in there? Bacon, oh, sausage, bacon. Um, yeah, right, Megan, um, that's funny. Okay, so I guess that's it today. Today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. I have an announcement to make. I think tomorrow's gonna be my last live feed. It's getting a little tricky because internet is getting wigged out a lot. Um, and my kids' needs are changing pretty much on a daily basis. So I think tomorrow's gonna be my last live feed, but I think what I'm planning on doing, and it's really hard because I feel like I'm quitting. I feel like I'm letting you down. It's making me really sad. Um, but of course we have to get through the alphabet because we're only on letter P today, right? So I thought what I would do is I would still upload to YouTube and then I could post the YouTube video on Facebook every day so you don't have to go to YouTube and look for it. I probably have about 10 that are posted right now. The feed or the quality, not that this has been the best quality every day, but um, Sometimes you may notice I'm fidgeting up here because I have my phone also recording on here and it's right above my computer and the light is really funky. So it's not that this is perfect either, but it's not as good, I don't feel like. But anyway, it'll be there for you so you guys can still have um, something to do with your littles and then you can do it at a time. I know mornings I think probably work better for many of you. Um, I get it. I get it, I had littles too. Um, but I'm sad because I'll miss the interaction, kind of the, I mean, I know it's mostly me talking to myself, but um, just watching, you know, the response back and forth, I'm gonna miss that. But um, yeah, I think I need to phase it out. So that being said, we will see you tomorrow and tomorrow's Friday, so one more sleep. See you later, alligator. Goodbye, crocodile. We'll see you on Friday. So wear a big smile. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. And we will see you tomorrow.